Today I'm going to show you how to make sarma. That is Serbian for cabbage rolls. Many families have their own version of making their, you know, different ways and different styles and different tastes um, with different ingredients in there. But I'm going to use a recipe that actually my aunt uses um, and also my mom, I believe. So we're just going to mix the two together, but I'm going to add, of course, my own little version or little twist to it as well. I personally do not like cabbage rolls. I love everything but the cabbage. I just don't like to cook cabbage. I love coleslaw. I love, you know, fresh cabbage like that, but I don't like it cooked. Um, but I might like it knowing that I made it. So I'm going to make just a few pieces for my husband and I'm going to make this for my clients specifically. So I'm going to just show you and just give you a little rundown of what I have and what I kind of started here. Um, I'm just going to tell you here, it's a simple, quick, easy, healthy meal. Um, it really few ingredients and um, really if you love sadma, I think you'll love this. Let me know what you think when you do make it. Uh, please subscribe and comment on Tita's Kitchen and let me know what your thoughts or if any questions if you have. I'd love to hear from you after you make this what you think about it. So what I have here, I sauteed. Three quarters of a cup of ground beef, grass-fed ground beef. You can just use ground beef if you like. Um, and I also used three quarters of a cup of ground chicken. The recipe originally calls for ground pork, and you can most certainly do that. Um, I just wanted to use the chicken because it's a little healthier. So I browned that. I added just a little salt and pepper. I like to lay, season every layer, but you don't want it to be too salty. So just lightly salt and pepper the meat as you brown it and grind it up in the pan so it doesn't clump up. Then you add in, oh, I think it says about two cups of diced onions, but I used two onions, two large onions. I did not measure. And then about two cups of shredded carrots um, or one and a half cup greatish carrots I guess I did about two cups or a little more than two cups so I just sauteed this all together and um, just season it each layer a little bit of salt and pepper you don't want too much like I said and I'm actually at the point where I was able to taste it to make sure your meat is thoroughly cooked and I am gonna next add in a little bit of celery salt don't add too much, but enough to just be able to taste it. Um, about a good heaping tablespoon of sweet paprika or even a little bit more. It all depends on your liking. Um, and I'm going to add the table blend of Mrs. Dash MSG free salt free seasoning and another blend of Mrs. Dash seasoning. Those are going to be my two little, three little additions on my own. The pork is what I swapped out for the chicken and the two Mrs. Dashes. And then over here, you're gonna see I have two cabbage heads boiling. Um, you just want them to boil a little bit, little, so you can then peel back each layer of the cabbage leaves just till they're about soft. So you can actually see in here, there is a cabbage leaf loose. So I'm actually start peeling off some cabbage leaves as they go. Um, as they start getting soft and I'm just going to put it in a bowl or just drain it on towel paper or a towel and then that way you just let them cool but that way it'll keep warm and stay soft so that's going to be my next step is peel off these layers and then season my meat mixture and then um, we will just continue on with the next steps of making this sadma so here I have my cabbage um, I peeled off leaf by leaf I didn't use all the leaves, but you can see that they are pliable and the hard part, you're able to roll them. So that's the most, that's really important. Um, I actually took the centers of the cabbage and I chopped them up just like a rough chop. And I actually put it on the bottom of the pan here with a little bit of tomato juice. Here is my chopped um, cabbage. I roughly chopped it here is for my clients and just I mix it up in just a little bit on uh, just a very 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 not even a full layer of tomato juice and then here is for us 
And then you'll need a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Um, you'll need that. Um, you can just, I prefer it being low salt, but when I went to store, I could not find it. So that's another reason why I like to control my salt. Okay, so then here is my mixture. Um, I had also two cups of rice. You can do a little more, you can do a little less, or omit the rice um, and put rice on the bottom of the cabbage rolls when you plate it. You can make a separate thing of rice if you would like, but I, in this recipe, my aunt puts rice inside. So it is so good. I can actually just eat this. So it's just so yummy, the filling. I love it, like I've said. You know, when you saute onions, right there they just give this natural sweetness when you saute carrots it just right there gives a natural sweetness um cabbage has so many health benefits too just so you know it has vitamin k can help with um inflammation it can has vitamin c and they and so many other health benefits definitely look it up so you just Fluff, fluff the rice when it's finished and then you just toss it in here and you gently mix everything up. You don't want to smush it because it has a very nice consistency. So I'm going to show you here how to do this. We're going to make a little assembly line. adds is a little bit of sauerkraut on the bottom and then she also tops it with sauerkraut but for my clients I decided to do it this way with no sauerkraut and for my husband so that way with this little pieces of shredded cabbage on the bottom uh, kind of will cook down it won't be tangy like a sauerkraut but it will have that little bit of an extra flavoring so um that's just another tip if you would like to do and i probably have extra leaves out and extra cabbage um fillings but i'm gonna keep the filling for myself and it's actually very versatile you can stuff peppers with this you can stuff zucchini squash make more cabbage rolls you can kind of uh, I believe saute the cabbage a little bit on top of the stove, um, add a little pinch of apple cider vinegar to it, and then you can also just bake it in a pan. That's another recipe, um, or there's one similar to that my aunt also does, kind of like a deconstructed sarma. Okay, so this is for my clients. This is perfect for them. And we're just gonna pour a little bit of crushed tomatoes on top. For a full recipe, calls for a 28 ounce. So we're just gonna let, put this to the side here. We're just gonna spread it out a little bit evenly here. And you're gonna add water till it comes to the top of everything. I'm gonna add some broth and instead of water to add more flavor. And then I'm just gonna cover it and then they will bake it at 375 for about an hour. And then about 350, you'll lower it down to um, and just for about another hour or so, since this one's a little of a less than the recipe since I'm splitting it into two. Um, you don't want it maybe 45 minutes to an hour and then you let it rest for about a half hour, uh, 15 minutes to half hour or so. Um, it's gonna be very hot and steamy, and that way it just kind of steams and finishes cookings and absorbs all the flavor. Uh, you can also serve this with uh, homemade noodles or just even noodles like a fettuccine or a wide egg noodle. My clients wanna mash potatoes with it, so I'm gonna make them some mashed potatoes. Um, like I said, you can omit the rice in the center and you can add that actually on the bottom or just eat it as is. But it's nice to have like a base. It a little bit reminds me of stuffed peppers. You need something else to kind of sop up that liquid, that juice. This tomato juice with the chicken is so yummy. 
It's just for myself, the cabbage. I don't care for cooked cabbage, but I might surprise myself. And I will definitely let you know in the comments and uh, when I put the recipe up. So definitely let me know if you have any questions. Let me know how you like this version. Um, you know, they're all gonna be a little bit similar, but all have a little different twist. And even though I followed my aunt's recipe and my mom's, I still added just a few little tweaks. Um, if they're very, it's a very cheap, versatile meal. You don't have to do beef. You can do all pork, you can do chicken, turkey. Um, but for my clients, I did the half beef, half chicken instead of the pork. Let me know how you like it. If you have any questions or comments, please subscribe and share. And I know many people love cabbage rolls. We call it sadma in Serbian.